speciale afdeling van de politie in Los Angeles. De oorlog in Vietnam en de drie musketiers komen aan bod in deze aflevering van Veronica Film en Video. Regisseur Oliver Stone vocht ooit als soldaat in Vietnam. Die noemend traumatische ervaringen verfilmde die in films als Platoon en Born on the Fourth of July. Zijn nieuwste film, Heaven and Earth, gaat voor de derde keer over de gevolgen van de Vietnamoorlog. Opmerkelijk aan de films van Stone is dat hij zich meer concentreert op de Vietnamese kant van de zaak dan op de Amerikaanse. En critici zeggen wel eens dat schrijver, regisseur Oliver Stone je als kijker weinig mogelijkheden biedt. Hij bepaalt de richting en de mening. En juist dat maakt Heaven on Earth voor mij althans zo'n aangrijpende film. Do you feel that this is making a full circle for yourself with this movie? In many ways, yes. Uh, to be able to go from an infantry soldier 20, 30 years ago actually, and then turn around and do the story of a, of a woman who we walked by in the village. Uh, you know, these type of people we didn't sympathize with because they were we felt they were in collusion with the enemy. But I, to be able to come full circle and understand what they went through and to experience that was, gives me both sides, you know? I understand both sides and it makes me a fuller person. But you did understand it a very long time. I mean, that's no, I didn't in a way understand, your... Except through this book, I understood what their values were. I, I didn't understand what farm, the rice farming meant. I didn't understand the value they placed on ancestor worship in their shrines or in the value of, of, of the land, the value of uh, Buddha in their lives, uh, Buddhist uh, cycles of reincarnation. This is an interesting uh, value system that we, were, as Americans, were not in touch with in the, in the 60s when I was actually a soldier. Right. It was difficult for me to comprehend uh, the nature, the value system uh, that, the, that the Vietnamese had, which raises the point that when we do intervene in these countries, which America has done quite a bit of, It seems to me that we should really know the people better and what we're dealing with, the cultural context that we're in. The experiences, I mean, this is a, the life of a woman, so many years, and you have to, to get all the emotions in, what is it, 63 days of shooting a movie. Well, that's, why make, that's what makes it even more unnatural, is that you have to really have so much feelings, you know, at within such a short time, at the same time, you ha have to have so much control when you feel so strongly with those feelings that you feel like, it's not natural for me to, to be so in control, you know? I wouldn't be in this kind of a state. I would be lost. I would be gone. But I can imagine that there were moments that you felt lost, I mean, oh, that yes. you couldn't handle or that you, you experienced something that you never felt before. Oh, you couldn't. Even though, you know, like lunchtime, you go out crying. <laughs> or like he's called cuts, and I'm like, give me some time. Right. I gotta finish. Made this film? Did it lighten you up, in a yes, sense? Yes, I did. I do. I think uh, there are certain feminine principles that I pursued in this movie that complement the masculine principles that I have. There's a sort of a balance that has come about between masculine and feminine. And is that something new for you that you handled? I think it's with? good. I think it's very good that I did a film about a woman. Why? What did you learn? A woman goes through many changes uh, in, in this movie. She can be many things. She plays many roles. Uh, she's a peasant girl. She's a, she, she, she's a Viet Cong. She's a spy. She's raped. She's uh, tortured. She's a mistress of a rich man. She's an American uh, housewife. She's a beggar in the streets of, and she's a prostitute. She's an American uh, businesswoman. She has three children, three different men. How many roles can a person play? I mean, a woman can play these roles even more than a man. So by going through this journey with her and finding her spiritual center, I understand, I, it made me aware of my own life and the adversities that I've had and how I've responded to them. Sometimes not so well. Sometimes I have not learned my lessons. So I think Lele was a teacher for me. Is this the beginning of a career of acting? Um, I want to be a doctor. I truly want to be a doctor. And if I feel that I do have the potential to have two careers online, I would love to. But the doctor comes first. Doctor is top priority. 
you're giving your life to the movies, I think. Is it have. worth? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But is it worth giving your life? Do you, or do you sometimes look back and think, hmm, to take it easy and do other things? Well, I don't have any other life, to be honest. Uh, my life has been always around the movies, so it would be hard for me to lose that. If I did, I'm sure I'd find a way. I'd find my own path back. But it's been so many years now that I've been pr pursuing movies.